The story of DeGrasse and Coleman. Meet Andre DeGrasse. NCAA champion in the 100 meters and 200 meters in 2015, followed it with a medal in the 100 meters at the 2015 World Championships, a bronze, went on to the Rio Olympics to win a bronze and a silver medal in the 100 meters and the 200 meters, had his moments with Bolt, seemed like the passing of the torch, and the 2017 World Championships seemed like the year that Andre de Grasse would take the crown from the great Usain Bolt. And look at the time! 969! Then he got injured. I have some bad news for you guys today. Um, a couple days ago, I hurt my hamstring. Tried to get it better, but just not enough, enough days to get ready for the championship. In comes Christian Coleman. NCAA champion in the 100 meters and 200 meters in 2017. Followed it with a medal in the 100 meters at the 2017 World Championships. A silver. Sounds kind of familiar. Coleman beat Bolt twice at the World Championships. Then his career catapulted. 60 meter world champion. Diamond League 100 meter champion. Secure number one world ranking since then in the 100 meters. Since his performances at the 2017 World Championships, he's been asserting his dominance over his competitors. Look at Coleman, he's a meter clear. A meter and a half clear. And look at the clock. 9.78 for Christian Coleman. But during his rise to the top, what's been missing? Um, Will it make a difference? I don't know, man. I... It's a big what if, leaving us thinking, what would have happened? But with the 2019 World Championships approaching, what will happen?